Thanks, Phil Caldwell is joining us here on Proactive London today. A big day for you, Phil, because you've expanded your fuel cell collaboration with Bosch. Tell us exactly how this is going to work and how it came about, really. Yeah, sure, Katie. Look, we've been working with Bosch uh, for a couple of years now already, and we've just completed a, a key milestone with them, having uh, been transferring our technology to them over the past two years. They've now successfully completed pilot manufacturing in Germany and have decided to invest hundreds of millions of euros in the next step of ramping production up to about 200 megawatts of annual capacity, which is very significant for us as a, as a licensing business because that's really, for us, a, a key enabler of this business is when we get our partners to move towards this commercialization and mass production scale. So the announcement from Bosch today is a huge move forward for Ceres. So this means, well, a huge move forward, as you just said, for Sarah's. But in terms of long-term strategy, this makes you very secure then. You must be chuffed with getting something sort of on paper here. Yeah, I mean, Bosch um, increased their investment in Sarah's earlier this year. Mm -hmm. So they've always been a, a long-term backer of the company. But I think seeing them move ahead in this way with, uh, with their investment, not just financially, but also um, today they've revealed they have about 250 people at Bosch working on this technology. They're putting production in at multiple sites across Germany. Yes, it, it does secure a lot of our, our future at Serres. Um, and it comes back on the back of other significant partnerships we've got with, um, with, with other uh, major OEMs around the world. But I think the Bosch relationship is probably the most key for Serres. Uh, we work most closely with Bosch. Yeah, and they're a huge brand. Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Everybody, everybody knows Bosch is a respected brand. Mm -hmm. I think they also share a lot of the Sarah's values towards decarbonisation and sustainability as well. So mm -hmm. they're an ideal partner for us. So um, just to break this down, you'll be together developing solid oxide fuel cell systems based on your proprietary technology. Yeah. So what these, the you know that, that's a quite a technical. Um, description there. What essentially Bosch are developing based on the Ceres technology is distributed power generation or, or power systems, if you like, that can do things like charge EVs, uh, power data centers, uh, provide flexible generation for businesses, offices, factories in the future. So it's really a step forward in, in how we actually generate power. And also they're developing it to be able to run on future fuels like hydrogen as we move towards a zero carbon society. So they've taken the Sarah's core technology, which is a solid oxide fuel cell, and now embedding it into their products and also starting to actually scale up mass manufacture within Bosch factories. So it's a, it's a, big, um, a big commitment from, from Bosch um, towards the commercialization of the Sarah's technology. Absolutely. You say towards the commercialization. So what's the next stage now? What happens tomorrow? Yeah, so um, what happens from this point on is we build upon what we've achieved in the past few years and we really scale it up at pace. So we've moved towards um, a couple of megawatts of production of where we are today at the pilot scale towards 200 megawatts of production by 2024. So over the next three years. Um, and, you know, just to put that into context, I think people may be familiar with Elon Musk talking about gigafactories. Mm -hmm. So we're doing the same thing, but in aggregation with different partners. So 200 megawatts is, you know, it's getting towards, you know, 20% of a gigafactory and, and we can scale it from there. So it's really the, the beginning of, of, of our, our future with Bosch, which we think is very bright. Absolutely. And worth, as you said, hundreds of millions of pounds or euros. Yeah. Long-term. I mean, the near-term investment, in, in facilities, et cetera, is coming from Bosch. Mm -hmm. From our point of view, uh, we receive royalties per units made, per kilowatts made, and, and that is very valuable to the company going forwards. And the model that we have is, is uh, taken from the chip industry, if people are familiar with ARM, we embed our technology into the products of companies like Bosch, and then when they go to market, we, we receive a royalty for every unit made, and therefore commitments to capacity like this underpin significant future revenues for Sarah's. Excellent. So to summarise here, Phil, what would you say to investors here? 
I think it's the latest proof point for us in this whole licensing model, as in, you know, we've, we've got a number of world-class partnerships. In the past couple of months, we um, announced a new deal with Doosan, uh, the world leaders in stationary power in South Korea, and they've committed to 50 megawatts of production. Bosch have now committed to 200 megawatts of production. And I think investors and sellers can now start to see our partners moving forwards and committing to actually bringing this technology to market at scale. And I think that's the real proof point a lot of investors have, have looked for. And, and you can probably see that in the way that the share price has responded to the news today. It's, you know, it's, it's been very positively received. Yeah, it has indeed. Thank you very much indeed. That's Phil Caldwell there from Sarah's Power Holdings here on Proactive London. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Katie.